We're going to continue our examination of applying base E and exponential functions with looking at appreciation and depreciation. We have V sub n equals P times the quantity 1 plus R to the n power. V sub n is your new value. P is the initial value, the initial amount. R is your fixed rate. And what you need to make sure you remember is that rates need to be written as decimals. N is your number of years. Now, what's important as well to realize is appreciation versus depreciation. Appreciation shows an increase in value. Depreciation means you have a negative R value because it's decreasing, so it would be 1 minus R to the n power. So understand the difference. We're only going to look at an example of appreciation, but you have to be familiar with depreciation. Depreciation means your value is decreasing, so it would be a minus sign in front of your rate. Uh, appreciation means it's increasing, so it's a plus sign. So let's look at this example. The Jamesons bought a new house five years ago for $65,000. The, the house is now worth $177,000, assuming a steady rate of growth. What was the yearly rate of appreciation? So let's label what we know. Let's start with V sub n, our new value. The new value of the house is 177,000. P was the initial amount, the principal amount, which started out at 65,000. Our rate is what we're trying to find. So I'll put a question mark. N is the number of years, which we said five years. And so now that I have all the information, I can plug it into my formula. V sub n, which is 177,000, equals the initial amount, which was 65,000, times 1 plus our rate, so 1 plus r, to the n power, which was 5. So we need to figure out how to solve. Well, our variable is contained inside of this object, that parentheses is being raised to the fifth power. So I have to isolate that object first. So what I'm going to do is divide both sides by the coefficient of that object. So that means I'm going to divide the left side and the right side by 65,000. That gets rid of my coefficient. And so really, I'm left with 177 over 65 equals that 1 plus r to the fifth power. So the question is, how do I get rid of my fifth power? To get rid of the fifth power, you're going to take the fifth root of both sides. So this is where we're going to go right to our calculator. We want to find the fifth root of 177 over 65. So I'm going to hit 5. Remember, your roots are located in your math menu, so math. Option five is x the root. So we want the fifth root. So you can see now I have fifth root. And I'm going to type in 177 divided by 65. Hit enter. And I get 1. 1.2218. So 1.2218, let's round it to 1.222. And so 1.222 equals the root and the exponent cancel, 1 plus r. Well, subtract 1 from both sides, you get 0.222 equals r. Well, your rate, this is a decimal. We want to convert it to a percent. And so my rate is 22.2 percent which is a very good appreciation percent same idea you start with the formula you identify what each value is and you figure out how to solve since our rate is contained in this object we have to isolate it first and then get rid of the exponent by doing the inverse operation which the fifth power the inverse is fifth root and then solve for our rate from there 